So morning guys, this is um, the morning of day three, it's the second full day, this is just a little video log of our journeys, last night freezing and this morning it's freezing, it's so cold out here this week, so cold. I didn't think it was going to be this cold, but it's so cold, guys. Um, yeah, but I thought I'd update you in the morning. I'll update you through the day and stuff. So, guys, this is uh, day three, but full day two. And um, full day two is the haunted village in Woodlands. We're going to be heading there in a minute. We just stopped off for a little coffee break and um, a bit of like sugar breakfast because we've got a train journey which is quite far and then we've, when we get off the train we've got like a two and a half hour walk so to the actual place so we're just giving ourselves a bit of energy and then uh, yeah what did you get? <laughs> Ben just ordered a coffee, a cookie and a butty. I got this Bakewell flapjack, a cookie and a coffee. So yeah, we're ready to do day, day two. Party village, here we come. Just to use the guys in a bit. So guys, we're on the train. We're heading to um, the location now. So yeah, it should be quite a good, good fun. Um, should be good fun. So yeah, what I'll do is when I get there, um, idea? Um, that's all right. Don't worry about it. We're, we're going to, this is a video. Uh, Wild Campers Two and Nico. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're just uh, there now. Just be talking to someone. So um, yeah, we're on our way to location. So I'll bring you back when I get there onto the location. Welcome up So guys, the ticket was a bit more than what we expected really. Um, I thought it'd be the same price for a return, but um, it was pretty, pretty much the price for one way. So um, we got a one, we got a one way. So we have to figure out getting back tomorrow. But you know, I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can do it. <laughs> so guys I'm not going to say this is all easy um, I'm in pain with my uh, finger I'm um, starting to get a bit of a headache um, I think it's just all the travelling on and off and going to different places the cold and every time we get to a different spot the cold is different the weather's different but you know we're still carrying on so yeah just to show you how hard this has been <coughs> and how hard we are working and how true to our word we are uh i've had to have a stop because i've got a really bad headache and my finger's starting to hurt more um ben's starting to get pain in his shoulders from the walking and the heaviness of the bag um people say pack light but we would have packed light but it's just not easy on what we've got to do and how we've got to be for the f full seven days so it's been a bit of a, a bit of a challenge it's already been a challenge now um, you know we're, plus we have to rest the dogs quite well so yeah it's been a bit bit of a mission tonight so yeah guys like i said true to our word we've stuck to our content and we've stuck to what we promised so yeah we're just having a break now guys cheers man <laughs> now then chavi what are we having for tonight's dinner? Oh, some hot dogs and beans. Some bread with no butter. I'm just going to dip it in. Proper wild camping food, that.
so guys, on this episode, today's episode, yeah, I've managed to slice my finger open, break the same finger, and slip down a mud hill. See, it's all going well. Morale's high. Not. But, you know, we're still getting through it. So, yeah, guys, this is today's episode, you know. Hopefully, we're going to put some more content together and let you see all that as well. But you'll see the area on the previous video earlier on in the video, anyway, what we've been doing today. Because we're at Haunted Woodlands. Ooh. So, tonight has turned out a bit of a disaster. Um, this is the final video of tonight, anyway. Um, it's, we got our camp set up, we got our food eaten, we set our fire going really nicely and then it's absolutely lashed it down. Um, the tents are leaking a bit. Um, it's quite cold. My finger is still bad. Um, we're both tired. Um, the dogs are knackered, the dogs need a rest. It's been so tough. Like doing something like this in, in proper winter is definitely a challenge if you haven't got all the comforts and the easy mod cons. Um, so, you know, for anyone that thinks or says that we haven't had to push ourselves this week, we have definitely pushed ourselves this week and we have definitely done something that a lot of people couldn't do. And we are living proof that, you know, you go stepping out of your comfort zone and testing yourself can be challenging. But if you can get through this, then you're a stronger person than you realise if you can get through something like this. This is not easy and it's not for the faint-hearted. So guys, to end this episode, I'm going to take you through a few things from a reading about this area where we camped in last night. These are the details of what is supposed to have happened and what is supposed to be why it's haunted and why it's got the reputation it has. According to an article by Nick Brownlow in the 14 Times magazine, reports of UFO sightings and pets going missing or becoming ill in the area date back to the 1960s, as do reports of unexplicable nausea, sudden patches of grey mist and sensations have been pushed or followed there. Four bodies have been found in Clapham Woods. In June 1972, Police Constable Peter Goldsmith went missing and his body was found hidden in a patch of thick bramble there some six months later. In August 1975, missing pensioner Leon Foster's body was found in the woods by a couple searching for a lost horse. In 1978, the missing Reverend Harry Neil Snelling's body was found by a Canadian tourist. In November 1981, the body of Gillian Matthews, a homeless individual with schizophrenia, was discovered. She had been raped and strangled. In their 1987 book, The Demonic Connection, authors Toyne Newton, Charles Walker and Alan Brown claimed that the woods were used for rituals by a satanic cult, calling itself the Friends of Hecate. However, when journalist Will Starr investigated this claim for his book, Will Starr vs. the Supernatural, he found no evidence to back it up besides odd campfires and unfriendly locals. Writer Barry Stevens has also expressed scepticism, suggesting that Newton and his co-authors either invented the lyric paranormal stories for their book or uncritically accepted urban legends and rumours. Considering all this, this area of woodland in Sussex has earned a reputation of one of the most haunted places in the UK. Clapham Wood near Worthing has allegedly seen a spate of disappearances, UFA sightings and satanic rituals. So basically the information is out there, the facts are potentially out there, some of them not been backed up and some of them have been backed up. But as we all know, there's murders and crimes committed all around the country, all around the world, each and every day. So what do we believe? What do you believe? I mean, would you stay there for the night? Would you risk being in the woodland and in the village where strange goings on have happened? Me personally, I risked it. I've been there twice now. First time I went there, there was some strange going on. The second time we didn't really have a chance to explore. But maybe if we went there with a few bits of ghost hunting equipment, we'd probably get a different kind of thing. But hey, what do we know? We are just humans. We are the living. What's on the other side? Is it true? Or is it false? We will never know. Because there's never been any true facts backed up, no camera footage ever filmed that can actually 
validate these claims. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following my journey. And thank you for watching this episode of the seven day challenge where we entered Clapham Woods in Clapham, just past Worthing. And we pitched and camped there for the night with only our camping kits, the tents, the sleeping bag and a little fire to get us through. Take care and I'll see you in episode three, which is day four.